In this screencast, we're going to address the possibility that perhaps you'll need vertexes or vertices to be in more than one vertex group. This is okay. You may recall that in our last uh, screencast, we had created the shin.l vertex group, which you can see right here is selected and, sh and is these vertices right here around the shin.l bone. One thing that would be really handy, I'm going to type A to deselect everything, and B to go back to border select, is I would like to select everything around the thigh bone there. So I'm going all the way up to parts of the hip, all the way down to parts of the shin. Everything in the thigh area should be part of the thigh group. And in fact, I'm going to real, qu real quick create a new thigh.l vertex group, the same way I did in the last screencast. I'm assigning my vertices to it. And now, if I go in, and we're, go we're going to wa watch this carefully here. If I choose the thigh.l vertex group and select it, you'll see that these vertices here right across the knee, bum, 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 are all selected. I'm going to deselect that, and I'm going to go to the shin.l vertex group and select those. And in fact, those vertices across the knee, bum, 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 are all selected again. Those vertices are members of both vertex groups. This means that when I move either one of those bones, they will both be affected by it, which is actually a really good thing because it keeps us from having weird, sharp creases. It means that it's almost like there's pressure inside of our mesh to keep it bending smoothly rather than just creasing at these joints. Um, one really interesting view of this is if we switch over to weight painting, we can see that the shin um, fades out as we get into the thigh. And if I, were to, if I were to go look at the thigh, we see that it fades out. So that this is an area of influence that doesn't have sharp borders, which allows us to have more flexible models.